Great to welcome David Skinner with us today and he's going to tell us a little bit about the story that's going on at Houghton Regis uh, where there is a massive housing development going on there David tell, tell us about it. It was part of the church's hope 11 years ago when I arrived that they would one day be able to put a, a church back I, I, into the community at what was then called Thorn but it's now called Biddable West uh, where once their church stood in the 1750s and uh, for the last seven or eight years, we've been meeting with other churches and other potential partners, and in particular the local authority, to discuss the possibility uh, of all of that happening. So, so what is the dream? Uh, well, the dream is probably got two strands to it. The first is to, to place a, a pioneer Christian worker to live and to work in that community, to build community, to connect people together. Uh, to create a sense of place and belonging right from the early days of the, the new estate. And the second half is to uh, put on, a, uh, to put up a, a community building, uh, a significant building, not just a, a village hall, but something which will act as a hub uh, for, for all sorts of resources to be present there for the local people, uh, a heart, a centre where people will gather in the community and a home potentially in the long term for a Christian church as it develops. And David, the, the, I understand the exciting thing is that right now you're at a certain place in this process. As you can see, we've got 100 houses under construction and we've got 50 more already occupied. So now really seems the time to be able to press on to uh, seek to identify who can come and be that pioneer community worker and to get things underway. So we'd really value your prayers as we uh, begin that search right now. Sarah, these have, these have been some dark times. I'm just wondering how it's been for you in your context. I think the biggest challenge has been supporting our staff um, for whom life's been very difficult. You know, they, lots of them have the same anxieties as everyone else, but in a very um, intense way because of the increased uncertainty of working in a hospital and who might they come into contact with and what's going on. At one time, we had over 100 people here with COVID-19. That's an awful lot of people to be cared for um, with a reduced workforce because we've had people unwell too. I'm sure there's a lot of, it's, there's, there's been a lot of darkness, but where, where have you seen the light? Um, I've seen it in the care and kindness of others as they visit their loved ones. These precious moments in moments of real sorrow, but of, of witnessing the love. I think the Queen said, didn't she, um, that our streets weren't empty because of fear but because of love because of the love that we held for each other we were staying indoors what has your faith meant to you as you've been going through this i think the powerful message of the god who is with us the god who is with us in pain the god who is with us in suffering the god who's with us in death the god who never leaves us who's part of our very being is an enormous strength and enormously powerful um that's not to say that the suffering and the pain and the difficulty doesn't feel very real and doesn't feel unfair and cruel, but it is to say that God is still here and that that suffering around the world is, is part of God's pain and part of God's heartache. White House is a new estate on the western expansion of Milton Keynes. Over the next 10 years, the plan is to build 5,000 houses as part of this estate. That's 5,000 families with individual wants, expectations and needs. The White House church story starts around three years ago with a lady, Pat, a member at Loughton Baptist Church, and her reoccurring dream, seeing a white marquee and members of Loughton Baptist Church pouring in, ready to start something new. Separate but coinciding with this dream was myself and my wife, Sarah, completing on a house moving into White House and then being joined with five other families from Loudoun Baptist Church over the course of the next six months. We started by working with the Housing Association, giving fish and chips to local residents to introduce ourselves. 
opened up our houses to neighbours for things like the World Cup and put on events at Easter and Christmas time to bring our community together. We also worked really hard to build up relationships with the local school, thanking them every term because we are so grateful for all they are and all that they do. On the 1st of December in 2019, 14 adults and nine children and young people were loved out of Loughton, prayed over as we began to meet here at White House Primary School for church. We officially launched in January 2020 and God grew our number of 14 adults and nine children and young people to a number closer to 50. Like all other churches, in March 2020, we had to close our doors because of the COVID lockdown. But being a new church, we were quickly able to adapt and all church activity moved online. We have a Sunday service on Zoom every Sunday, which is live, and we have opportunity for people to partake in talking about community events that are still happening. Our young people lead a game each week, and we also study the Bible, worship together in the same way we would have done if we were a physical church. During this time, we've recognised the areas of need in our community, and we stand ready and waiting to serve in any other way that God calls. All of this is still so new to us, but we're White House Church and our journey is only just beginning.